Are you caught? Just um, if, if that, I'll just explain. If the member wants to uh, have a call, and I know that you stood up earlier, you must call out Mr Chairman, all right? Because if you don't call, then the call goes to someone else. Now, I know that you stood before and sat down, you stood again, but didn't call, so that's the procedure. You must call, all right? So, if the member wants to call, he needs to stand up and call Mr Chairman. Mr Chair. I call Fletcher Tabato. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for your patience, uh, Mr Chair, and uh, thank you to the members uh, this evening. I take this as an opportunity as a uh, member who's come from a tertiary background, who has had the privilege to work with, as a stakeholder in this environment, uh, to commend the committee and the members for what looks to me, sir, to be a, uh, a, an amendment, a bill, an amendment to the bill which uh, has obviously been well considered, it has been uh, well thought through, and there is clear evidence of bipartisan um, discussions and relationships. So I think this will be a rare opportunity for me on behalf of the New Zealand First Party to stand in support of an amendment and uh, bills being passed through uh, this House. The, I spoke of my association uh, with the stakeholders Sir, so as the head of a business school, I spent the last two years uh, working with the NZICA, or New Zealand Institute of Chartered Accountants, and was privy to the discussions. And so I take this opportunity to acknowledge some of the individuals and say to the, uh, the members here that it, it wasn't a straightforward uh, discussion and it wasn't a straightforward decision for some of these members to uh, amalgamate or merge with their Australian counterpart. I acknowledge uh, the strength of will and the hope that the merger would benefit uh, the New Zealand Accounting Association. So I take this opportunity, sir, thank you. Uh, this bill is the, parts, the first part of this bill's intent to create efficiency and effectiveness in terms of auditing, an essential part of uh, effective business operation uh, to be commended. Initially, I was wary, sir, of some uh, of the first part, which uh, lessened the uh, requirements uh, to be an uh, auditor and lessened uh, some of the regulatory requirements in terms of um, complying. But I do note and am satisfied that, uh, contrary to this, uh, the stipulations and the requirements in terms of the uh, auditing and um, meeting the standards were conversely uh, increased. So, uh, on behalf of the New Zealand First Party, it's a privilege to stand before you tonight. A quick word from me. Uh, thank you, Mr Chair. Chair. Uh, Melissa Lee. I move that the question be now the put. The question is that the question be now put. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. Aye. The ayes have it. We now move to the Minister's amendments as set out on SOPs number 471 and number 2. The question is that the amendments be agreed to. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. The ayes have it. The question now is that part 1 is amended stand part. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. The ayes have it. Members, we now move to part 2. This is debate on clause 52 and includes the schedule 2. Mr. The Chair. question is that part 2 Mr. stand Chair. part. Stuart Nash. Can I um, um, just talk 